Hey guys, welcome to another video. I already started the intro, but uh, I didn't want to record for some reason. So, you might be... Oh, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Oh, I did the wrong thing. So, you might be wondering what I'm doing right now. And you might be thinking, oh, he's setting up the steam power that he talked about in the previous episode. No, I'm actually creating a factory. And you might be wondering, well, what does this factory produce? This factory will produce actually a lot. There is a lot this factory is going to produce. Uh, I know that's just a run on, but there's going to be a lot of different outputs of this. And the first output is going to be diamonds. Um, we don't really have a diamond shortage, so it's not that I'm out of diamonds. I mean, we're actually out of power. Uh, so I should be going for power first because this blew up. And I am going to rebuild it, but I'm not going to rebuild it now. The only reason I'm going to rebuild it is I want to make it cleaner and a little more efficient. Uh, but it will still be in that same position. It's going to be the dimensions that I said it would. So it's going to require all of this and much more. So much more. But... Uh, Right now, it is not operational. I mean, it kind of is, but it really isn't. As soon as these generators run out, that's it. As, actually, as soon as this biomass and this biogas runs out, then it's just done. And there's still some over here, but it, overall, it's pretty much done. Um, there's only a little bit of energy left in these things. And once that's all out, we're done for power, pretty much. So, I am going to get a jump on the factory, and then after the factory, we are going to get steam, because steam's actually a little bit of a quick process, um, kind of, uh, if I remember correctly. We only need a steam turbine, a steam boiler, a condenser, and some tanks, but there really isn't much to this. I mean, you need steel. But uh, steel is not that hard to make because I already have a blast furnace. I already have the stuff for a blast furnace. So it's not a, a crazy difficult process. So I'm not like, uh, I'm not really worried that we're not going to be able to do this. So I am going to come back once I have enough copper. Actually, once I have all the machinery set up for the uh, factory. And I'm going to run through the process of how to create diamonds in IC2 kind of infinitely. And I say kind of because it's a little it's a little tricky to explain. I just want to see if... Can we actually... No, we can't. Cool. I just want to see one more time. Is coal infinite in any way? Nope. Coal is not infinite. It's a little unfortunate. That's fine. So, I actually kind of ran into my first roadblock. I thought I'd be able to set this up, and I wouldn't have to do some crazy kind of crafting. But I was wrong, so we actually have to go and grab our blast furnace, wherever it is. I don't even know. Um, just gotta hope that it's somewhere, really. Blast Furnace, Blast Furnace. Uh, it might be that over there. It might be that. I'm gonna hope it's this. It is this. Cool. Um, okay, and what are you? You are a radioisotope heat generator. I actually don't have the stuff to make uh, to use this. So this is actually completely useless to me right now. What I do have that I can use is liquid heat generator. Uh, now this is going to work off of lava and we're just gonna need coolant or or no we don't actually. Uh, we just need con heat conductors I think. Now I think the really good thing about this, the blast furnace, is it actually doesn't require anything, I think. 
uh, besides heat. I should explain that. Um, I'm just going to quickly make sure I'm correct. Alright, so I figured it out, and it's quite an annoying process, actually. Um, I was pretty close. I, um... Hmm. I'm trying to see if more... I gotta get a storage system. I don't know where anything is. I'm pretty much just trying to find, uh, what are these things are called? The universal fluid cell thing. But I'm not putting fluid in them, I'm putting compressed air. And I'm putting compressed air in them because this needs compressed air. Yay. Um, I can use this. This is fine. Just, it needs more gas. Pretty much. That's pretty much, uh... The only thing it needs and then it'll turn on and start producing heat i think i don't think i need it's another thing is sorry i'm trying to think looking at tutorials people were using uh electric heaters i'm not sure why but uh, that might be more viable than what i'm doing because i could just put the line right to it that's easy hmm oh you know what that's unfortunate but can I uh... I don't know if the line went there though or the it didn't no. I don't know if there's a way to... Maybe that way? I may have done it. I... It definitely did that. Okay, it did what I wanted. It did. What is it producing? It is. Okay. Cool. So, you need six compressed air cells, which I have in there. And then you need iron. And then you have to wait five minutes for each piece of steel to be made. So in the meantime, I'm going to create more of these things. Which is tin and glass panes. That's pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to create a ton of them. Only because uh, if I do that... Ooh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, never mind. Uh, it'll be easier just to put the compressed air in instead of going back and forth, back and forth all the time. Because that was getting annoying really quick. So something I just uh, learned is it runs out of lava very, very quick. So you have to pay attention to it. Or just use an electric heater like I am not. Uh, so I just wasted like three minutes waiting because I was like, oh, it's running. It was not. It was not running. Another thing is I have to collect this stuff. If you don't collect that, then it'll just build up and there will be an issue. So that sucks. And I'm not even quite sure what to do with those, uh, those fluid cells, to be honest. I'm trying to think of what to do with the, uh, the lava. The whole lava, where it is. It's pretty much just lava that's cooled down a bit. Yeah, Bo. Alright, I'm just gonna keep filling this up. I have given up because that is very annoying and I decided I am going to just do this. Um, I'm just gonna make an electric heater. So much easier. I'm pretty sure coils are really cheap to make too so what's an electric heater's recipe that's already cheap I already have one of those I'm sure I can find a battery somewhere just trying to think where a battery would be all right I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this myself 
Okay, so we produced the first piece of steel, and I don't want to continue with that anymore. So, electric heater. Uh, is that voltage too much? I want to go look at the output of that voltage. I think it's 32 EU per tick. I think the output is 32 EU. Actually, something I am realizing. I think I have a little bit more power than I was saying. I think... Uh, nope. Uh, oh, I had a battery in there? That is a little bit annoying. I didn't know how the bad I had a battery there. But... 32 EU should be okay. I don't think this is going to collide. Please don't collide. Oh, collide. Alright, you won't collide. <laughs> okay. Can I just add more to this one? I can. Please don't blow up my electric heater. I don't have any coils in it though. So it's not going to do much until I put coils. And I didn't mean to do that. I am sorry. Coil. Okay, and oh, that's a really simple crafting recipe. I will be right back with that. Alright, so I only have four because that's all the copper I just grabbed. Uh, I do have more copper, but I'm just going to put this in because I want a ton of steel because we need a ton of steel. A ton of it. An absolute ton. And that's more heat than it's actually required. So, yeah, I'm not really too worried about that. Only thing we do need, though, is gas. And I found a way to just get rid of this stuff. And it actually doesn't do anything. It's pretty much just water. Just delete it. But, if we just take our empty cells, we can just bring them over from this. And yes, we just do something about all this dust. There's a ton of dust accumulating. But at least it's getting out of the way of the machines, because that was bothering me a little while ago. It just kept getting in the way, so I couldn't grab stuff. And that was really, really annoying. But, I, I will be back once... Once we have enough steel for um, the diamond factory. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to give you guys just a little bit of math into this. I need 12 pieces of steel. Now, each piece of steel takes 5 minutes. I already have one. I almost have another. But I have to wait pretty much 50 extra minutes just for a piece of steel. Just for enough pieces of steel, I should say. Pieces of steel. Oh my god. This is this is gonna be an unbearable wait. And I hope I just don't forget to put the compressed air because it's going to make me so annoyed if I mess this up. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and uh, grind this out. Yeah. Alright, we are back. And oh my god, that took forever. It is beyond an hour now, because I had to craft more. Uh, so everything here is pretty much what we need to get this whole system running, except I don't have enough wire. Yeah. Um, I think I have a way around that, though. Uh, you. And... You. So this should be everything that I need to get the system up and running completely. And I, I will explain what it's doing and how it works. Uh, there should be more steel in there. Yeah, there is. Okay. So the first thing that we need to lay down... Now it's going to be a little tricky to, to place everything. But the first thing that we need is the macerator. And go ahead and just put that in it already. And something I think we can do. Uh, you know what? I'm just thinking. Yeah, just give me one second. I just want to grab a uh, block to place down first. Uh, it could just be cobblestone. It's 
Oh, and I gotta sleep. Great. Alright, I'm gonna quickly sleep. Alright, so now it should be the compressor, match crafter, uh, I want to say compressor's last, since, oh god, uh, okay, let's just run through it. So, to make a diamond, you have to start off with, with, with this, so you macerate the coal, alright, and after you macerate the coal, you can craft that into a coal ball, so am I wrong on the first thing? I'm wrong on the first thing, okay, alright, and then it's the compressor, and then it's this, and then it's going to be another one of these. It gets weird. It gets really weird because the way I have to lay it out. That and no. No. Electric furnace. And then it's compressor. So then we can wire it all up. I think it should get some power. It does. Cool, cool, cool. All right. This this does look a little messy, I know, and it's going to look messy, and I'm not really going to fix it for probably a while, I'm going to be honest with you there. Let's just get it uh, functional first. I don't know why that blew up. I have zero idea why. Um... Hmm. I mean, that's weird. Okay, so after a bunch of troubleshooting, I realized uh, my issue, and that was... Oh, great. So I had placed these low-voltage transformers. Um, I put two of them to get the most power here, uh, which actually was working, because... I don't know. But uh, I had them upside down, so no power was going to any of this, and it was freaking me out because, you know, I just spent a lot of time making this, almost two hours. Okay, besides that, I got it working. So, coal is being macerated. Coal is being put over here, so we have to wait for three more coal to be turned to this coal chunk, I think it's called. That's not good. Coal ball. Okay, I could have just looked at it. And then it gets compressed to a coal chunk, and then you'll mix it with brick. And that may sound stupid, but it really isn't. It's just one of the recipes, and that's how you make diamond. Yep, I swear. Then once we take one of the bricks, after it makes one, obviously. Just gotta wait like a second. Yep, alright. Here, we're going to put a brick into the recipe. Can't put it in just yet. And then we wait for the coal ball to compress to a coal chunk. Compressed coal ball, sorry. This is going to be the coal chunk. Yep. And then the coal chunk will... Sorry, I'm just trying to... Hmm. Okay. Well, once you compress the coal chunk, it... Uh, turns into a diamond and it's a really simple system honestly and that's pretty much it for this video I don't think this was a too this was too long of a video uh, behind the scenes I'm going to get every single resource I need for the steam system and then we're gonna put it right there in the next video but uh, what I will let you guys see is pretty much how long it's going to take me to get a diamond. So I started pretty much at, let's say, 12.30 in the morning. Uh, and it's 12.33 now. Got a bunch of bricks, of course, but uh, got to wait more compressed coal balls. Another thing you might be wondering, like, oh, well, you got to replenish the coal and you got to replenish the uh, of energy. That's another thing. But also... 
play. Those are all really easy resources to get. I don't really go mining that often, but I can tell you that I have a decent amount of coal and clay is very abundant and the diamond drill makes it really easy to get a ton of clay. 242, there might be some in this chest somewhere. Not really sure, but speaking of that, I want to go grab some more clay and then I will show you when we get our first diamond. Alright, so we have our diamond. Uh, I actually have other diamonds, I was just mining. But that took, uh, give or take, 20 minutes. And it's pretty much just a free diamond, kind of. Um, you do have to have a stack of coal and you have to have at least one brick. Or four bricks, technically. Uh, one brick block. But that is pretty worth it. So, I will see you guys in the next episode where I will pretty much have the groundworks laid out for the steam power. Yeah, it's really just steam power. As well, oh my god, I forgot about this stuff. Hops. As well as I will have some of this pollution gone. So, there won't be as much dust everywhere. Because that dust sucks. I will try to, try to get this stuff. This stuff is going to be a little difficult. But uh, we will try. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.